Hey, this is Danny. The channel is you and me living free. I have started this video like three times because I'm I'm so excited and there's so much I want to share, but I keep going get going all over the place. So I'm going to try to have some structure. I'm going to try to have a little discipline as I tell you a few little things that are happening. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give for people who are new here or who haven't seen me in a while, I'm going to give just a super mini backstory on how I got here to this place. I'm going to give a mini update on Grand Canyon hike um, update and I'm going to give uh, my next trip and where I'm going and how excited I am about that. Okay, so first thing, backstory if you're not familiar with me or maybe if you are or you jumped in somewhere in the middle, I was like a lot of people when the pandemic hit, I found myself kind of burnout out at work, working from home. Um, not able to do anything. So I started going into nature. I had never been a nature girl. I had never been a camp in the woods, camp anywhere. I'd never even been a hike in the woods. I'd never even been a, oh, let's go to the park and be outdoors. I had never been that kind of person, but something changed in the pandemic. And when nature was the only freedom I was allowed, um, it started to be really appealing and it started to get into my soul and I just loved it so much. I had always thought about doing a tiny house, but when I was doing research on tiny homes and stuff, I ran into Bob Wells and his channel. And like so many of you and so many other people, I, th then I started to get obsessed with this idea of RV or van or, and, and, and I got obsessed with this idea about how, how little can I, how little does it take to really give me what I need? And how, what can I strip away and only get to the basics of really what I, what I would need to do something like that? And I came up with the idea of, of the minivan, of getting a Toyota Sienna minivan, because I figured if I hated camping, I'd, I'd only been camping like once or twice in my whole life, like quick little one or two night overnights and I mean very brief and it was only because I had this one boyfriend who loved to fly fish and stuff so we like it was not my idea I was not that into it but I was like I'll do it for a couple days anyway had done that years ago I thought if I hate this whole thing I'll be able to resell a Toyota Sienna they hold their value blah 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 I got a Toyota Sienna I was like it's not going to be big enough I got everything I need in here I saved up money. I quit my job for a year and there was no job to go back to. I mean, I didn't quit it for a year going back to the same job. I was burnt out. I didn't want to do that anymore. I wanted to get back to marketing, which is something that I did uh, before when my before I had kids and when my kids were small, I was a marketing director. So I wanted to kind of go back to that. Uh, also, just to make more money, I was tired of being underpaid um, in jobs where I was underemployed and underpaid and, and would do so to have more flexibility and stuff. Anyway, I don't want to go down that rabbit trail. Brief history, Danny. We're doing a brief history. Remember that. Okay. So I took off my year. It ended up being about a year and a half before I could find a job and do all that. So for 18 months, I traveled in my minivan. I went back and forth to Kansas City. I would be out on the road for six weeks to maybe two months, two and a half months. Uh, so about a month and a half to two and a half months, I would be out on the road at a time and then I would come back to Kansas City. I traveled all over and I really did it with this attitude of if I can do it, never camped, never been into this stuff at all. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So anyway, my YouTube channel is full of that stuff if that's what you're interested in. That brings me to the point now, I have a job in Kansas City. I like my job. I like what I do every day. I like the people that I work with. I, I like the, the purpose of it's a nonprofit and it has a, a, a purpose and a mission that I really believe in. And I love putting my time and effort and talents toward it. So I feel good about all of that, but it's local. Um, so that's the situation I am now. I have been in this job for about four months. Then I just had to move because my landlord decided not to renew our lease. I was renting a house for 10 years and the landlord decided not to rent our lease. So we were out trying to find a place and everybody knows, especially everybody in this lifestyle, but everybody knows what rent prices have done in the last year or two. And that is they have skyrocketed some places more than others, but it's generally, um, 
every almost everywhere and definitely Kansas City. So rents are extremely high. It's very prohibitive and I'm still renting. So anyway, we did find a new place. I just moved a couple weeks ago. I still have boxes in my home. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, is that the life update? Yes. Where I'm working now, though, I do have more vacation than than normally people only get a couple weeks or a few weeks a year. I have about seven weeks. So I'm for now, I'm going to use those for travel. And in my other time, and if you've been watching any of my shorts, you know, I also have a dream to hike the Grand Canyon. This brings us to point number two in the video. I have a dream to hike the Grand Canyon. I am very out of shape. I am uh, very, I'm carrying a lot of extra weight and I am very out of shape. So I have spent months just literally getting into the routine and becoming one of those people who I just wake up and go to the gym mostly. Uh, I go about four to six days a week. I walk, I, I swim, I walk in the pool, <laughs> I play in the pool. <laughs> Uh, that's mostly what I do is play in the pool or I go on a walk around the track or whatever for 20 to 30 minutes and that is my workout because that's the kind of shape I'm in like those are really big workouts for me is 20 or 30 minutes and I'm doing good because I'm building consistency and um, and building sustainability so that has I had to build a strong foundation that then I can build kind of what I'm doing and get in better and better shape but as for now that's the deal. Okay, we got my history. We got uh, the Grand Canyon. That's basically it. I am looking at the Grand Canyon for next year, 2024, in the fall. And if I can't do it then, then I'm going to look at 2025. I just, I know in the long picture, that is what I want to do, but I don't have a specific date yet because it's just too far off. And I honestly can't even think about the specifics of training for the Grand Canyon, but I do have a whole plan set out in phases because eventually I'll need to work on uh, wearing a backpack. Eventually I need to work on, you know, the ups and the downs. I need to work on the hiking poles and the balance and the flexibility and the endurance and the strength and all of that, all of those pieces will build over time. And I've got like phases. I'm still in phase one, which is become a person who goes to the gym just just move your body, have fun moving it, do it consistently, and let's get a nice strong foundation so that we can build, so that we can eventually hike Grand Canyon rim to rim. Okay? Okay. There's two out of three done. Look at me staying on track. Okay, here we go. Number three is my net I'm planning my trip and I'm so excited because it's 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 coming up in March and I am going to Florida. I am uh, going to Florida in March. It's a little spring break, uh, you know, teenage kind of thing, but not hopefully not where I'll be mostly. I'm not going to like Daytona or, or Miami or Panama City Beach. <laughs> but anyway, I know that, you know, a lot of Florida is that for, uh, for March and for, uh, for spring break. But that's exactly what I have. I work at a school actually, so I do have a spring break and I'm taking a couple of extra days. So I'm going to I'm going to take, I don't know exactly yet how long I'm going to be gone, but I know basically where I'm going and I know basically my route. And now I'm like reaching out to friends and stuff and seeing who's going to be on the route. I'll release more of that in my next video and kind of uh, maybe do shout outs to people along the way. But basically I'm going to be in central Florida. It's a, it's a place near DeLand. I don't know how to pronounce it. DeLand, D-E-L-A-N-D, Florida. It's not too far from Orlando. It's like north of Orlando, and it's not too far from the beach either um, on the ocean side, not on the Gulf side. I have extensively traveled the Gulf side, but I have barely been on the, um, the, the eastern side of Florida coast at all. I went to Jacksonville last year and did some um, Georgia and some Jacksonville and like Northern Florida on that side, but I have not been. So I'm going to go to uh, the Orlando area, the DeLand area and meet up with some friends there. And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to go up the coast and then back over to uh, Kansas City to go home. So I could not be more excited. I'm going to Florida. It's really warm there. Where I'm going though is not right on the coast. 
um, at least where I'm headed initially, I'll be there for a few days, then I'm headed over to the coast and I'm really going to spend like four or five at least days on the coast in different, different beach towns and stuff. Uh, so that's what it's shaping up like anyway. Um, I travel very flexibly. I don't like making any reservations. I like uh, going to a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel or something to stay, especially when I'm on the beach. It's hard in those beach communities to find free places. So I try to, I try to find places ahead of time if I'm going to be um, in urban areas like this, in anywhere, I've, I find this, and I know if you're in the in van life, you do too. Anytime you are in a beach community, they typically are very hard on people who want to sleep overnight in their cars. They have laws against them a lot of times. They just do not allow it, and. Some are more militant than others, but I have been on both coasts, Washington, Oregon, California, uh, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and everywhere that I have found on the coast. Also just in most touristy towns, like if you go to where, um, you know, close to uh, Pikes Peak or whatever, and, um, and those little, I forget, Manitou Springs, I think. Um, but anyway, if you go to those little towns right there, you are not going to be able to park. I mean, some people are good at stealth. Some people can like blend in whatever. I have a minivan. I probably could blend in, but I have a philosophy that if someone doesn't want me to park in their parking lot or on their street, I don't want to park there. I, d I don't want to see what I can get by with. And I don't, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I think that's awesome. If you can, if you're one of those people and you can be stealthy and you know where to go and you're, and, and you, and people don't notice you and you're not supposed to be there, but you're, but you're there and you get by with it and stuff. That's awesome. It's like, I don't have the bandwidth for that. And I also just don't have, if you don't want me there, I don't want to be there. <laughs> so it's worked for me so far. I have never camped anywhere that, that uh, I've never overnighted anywhere I wasn't supposed to, or wasn't allowed or didn't have permission or whatever. Um, but that's just the way I roll, but it's harder. Man, when you're out West, it is so much easier. I, I, I love Southern Utah, Northern Arizona. These are some of my absolute favorite places and out West, almost anywhere spent a lot of time in Wyoming and, and Montana. And anyway, if you've watched my travels, you know, a lot of that, all of those areas that aren't as populated and things there, it is so much easier. It's so much more laid back as far as just finding a place. Anytime I'm headed to the East coast, it's more of a concern. Where am I going to be? Where am I going to be able to sleep? Where am I not going to be run out of town? Um, it, it is. It's a concern. So if you are knowing of places like from Orlando up, uh, up to, I'll probably go up to Jacksonville Beach. I love Jacksonville uh, Beach. So I'll probably go over to Orlando, straight over, up the coast to Jacksonville, and then back to Kansas City. If you know people along that route, or you know places where I could camp for free, or you know places that are friendly to campers or whatever, then please put them in the comments. Um, what else? So next time around, I will probably um, outline my path a little more. And what I might do is, my van is a mess. I mean, uh, you can tell a little bit, but... Oh, my van is a mess. I haven't been on a trip in months. And, um, and when I moved and everything, usually I have a section in my house where when I bring the van back from a trip, I will, you know, put a bunch of stuff in the house. Like I don't leave it in the van 24 seven through the winter. Like I just did. All this stuff has just been in here all winter. Um, I have, I have everything just thrown in here. And so what needs to happen is I need to like strip it all out, clean it really well, and then load stuff back in that I'm going to need. And I'm, I'm so excited. Even as I say that, like, I can't wait to do that. And, and honestly, trip prep is one of my least favorite parts. I don't like to prep. Um, I want to go on the adventure, <laughs> but I don't want to prepare and I don't want to plan, but I have become a pre more of a preparer and a planner because I have to be, because like, I, I need to know what do I need for this trip? Where am I going to be? Am I always going to have a place to sleep? Because 
I have to, in my mind, have one place to sleep and one backup in case it doesn't work out. So for example, if my place to sleep is a Walmart parking lot and I get in there and there are a bunch of people milling around and, uh, and it doesn't feel good to me, I, I need a backup. So I always need a backup. I always have a plan A and a plan B. I would say always, almost always do. I do, do I always have, anyway, you know what I mean? I almost always do. And especially when I go east. And if you have watched my channel at all, you know, honestly, I don't go east very much. <laughs> I don't go east very much. I don't, it doesn't appeal to me all that much. Um, but I'm meeting some friends. And so that appeals to me a lot. And the beach appeals to me a lot. So I'm going to do it. If it was just me and I was only picking someplace for, uh, for the weather and stuff, I love, I love the desert. Well, anyway, I love a lot of things. I, I do love a dry heat. When I'm, when I'm cool or cold and I want to get away, I love a dry heat. But I love the beach too. Anyway, whatever. What was all that, Danny? You were doing so good. You were on track and everything. And then I had to go down those rabbit trails, didn't I? Okay, pulling myself back in. We've covered all three of the things. I think that's it for now. I'm super excited. Um, let me know if you guys want to actually see, a, 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 you know, one of the speeded up videos where I'm like taking everything out of the van and then I clean everything and then I put things back in the van and get all organized. Tell me if you want to see any of that. Um, it's kind of, yeah, it, it's kind of hard to shoot. Maybe I'll just do like one camera angle and have the camera like in the back of the van and just shoot as much as I can. Um, but anyway, I've thought about doing a video like that and I never really have. So it might be kind of fun. Let me know if you want to see that. Let me know if you want to see more details about the trip. That's what I'm going to be working on as I unpack boxes at my home. And I also don't have a washer and dryer at my home, my new apartment home now. So I have to go to a laundromat or I have to go down to the basement and I'm on the third floor. So going to the basement is hard. Anyway. There's a, I'm just saying, there's a lot going on. I have a lot of stuff on my plate, but I am super excited about prepping for this trip and going on this trip. And um, I hope you'll come along for the journey and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Let me know if you made it to the very end. You deserve a medal. You deserve three medals. You deserve even more than that. I'm sending you a ton of love. If you want to join my Patreon, please do. It costs as little as $3 a month. And we have more behind the scenes stuff there. I'll probably share more details and things like that. It's easier to communicate. Now that I've got um, more and more um, subscribers, which is awesome. Sometimes, no, I don't say that. I honestly, I still reply to every single comment. But I don't always take quite as much time as I want with every single comment. So it's, it's easier to communicate in Patreon anyway because we have, you know... I only have, I only have a handful of people in there. So it's like, we just build kind of like, you know, like I know who they are. They know who I am, um, kind of relationship. Right. But anyway, so thank you to all my patrons on Patreon. I appreciate and, uh, appreciate so much that extra support. I love you. If you're still here, let me know in the comments and I'll send you a medal. And, um, I think that's it. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.